hell are you watching this? It's on YouTube. The documentary on on on. Oh, uh, I thought there was like a fucking like on CNN or some shit like or, or like. No, this one is a, is a is a dude just a random dude. He's fucking hilarious. Then there's another dude who has the meth inside of a vape thing. He said, "You uh, smoking meth is for pussies and shit." Watch this. That fucking guy. It's the most crazy. Hit. He turns into that guy from Silence of the Lambs. He's all. <laughs> you haven't seen that? No. Oh, that shit. was tight. Well, all right. Have you? One, two, three. What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking? Is the motherfucking Anze Live Podcast episode eighteen, motherfuckers? Wow. God damn. We got oh. some familiar faces back on the podcast because. We're about to take a ride on the wild side. <laughs> we got Eric Walker in the motherfucking building. Again? Woo! Yes, sir. Who stopped doing that? That was such a terrible <laughs> entrance last time. Like, sorry, sorry, fuck, sorry, like, sorry. I'm old, man. We got right. Marco in the motherfucking building. Yeah. Let's switch spaces real quick. All right. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing great, actually, with everything that's transpired. I'm alive. I'm, I'm alive and well. You feel me? That's a. That's yeah. a I'm sober. Chill. All right. How are you feeling, Marco? I feel pretty good. Marquito, what's cracking with you? You good? I feel good, bro. You goody? Yeah. You guys fucking uh, work day? Yep. I go sure. in early tomorrow. I know it's you. all good. I know your ass ain't working. Nope. Uh, I gotta work again in my life. I'm gonna get a job. Put the, put the mic closer to... Yeah. I'm gonna get a job. There you go. There you go. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get a job. And, uh... Yeah. Get a job as soon as I get out of this thing. You're going in tomorrow, and that's a 30-day... Uh, like a re- rehabilitation center, salvation center type thing. Yeah, Is Salvation that- Army, ARC, and uh, is that considered rehab or no? Yes, that's considered rehab. Yeah, okay. You're, everyone in there is in there for drugs and alcohol. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, so they're in there for drugs and alcohol, and they uh, do work for them. They get your food stamps. Everyone gives their f- to go in there. That's how you how they pay for everything. For yeah. Your food stamps, and then you work for them. You work eight hours a day, uh, six days a week in there, folding clothes, loading trucks. Shit. You know? You're going to knock out a whole month of that. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to have... It's just like, How much do you need to do to get out of what the fuck you... What we're trying months. to do is get you out of your situation. Six months. Yeah, six months. There. So at, I'm going to go silent for, for 30 days. I'm going to be in there. For 30 days, you can't... You're t- not, you're not going to go silent. You're going to be talking up a storm whoever no. the fuck's next to you. Yes. But I'm nice. talking about no one's going to hear from me. Like, uh, No, okay. So keep for going. For 30 days. And then uh, then you can go on an eight-hour pass on uh, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, so then that'll be every weekend. Okay. Every weekend, you can take a pass eight hours. So I'll be able to get out after the 30 days is what I mean. Oh, okay. Like, that makes on sense. On the weekends. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Eight-hour passes. And... Uh, I got to do six months. Six months of that? Six months of Salvation Army. It's not 30 days, bro. Six months. Shit. Salvation Army. But that's what I'm saying. Just like I was telling prior to prior to any of this, um, you got to look at it at, at this as, as your last stretch of you getting in trouble. That's dog. right. That's right. That's literally as you got to, at yes. the way you got to see it to so see yes. it the way out. Like, or else if you can see it as like, man, if you keep prolonging this shit, yeah. you're going to go back in for yes. good. Or you're going to keep doing, you're going to keep fucking up. So you got to look at this like these next six months or the last six months that I'll ever fucking get in trouble. I'll ever be a part of the system. Yes. You feel me? Yeah, That's the you. only way that I was going to like, I could tell you otherwise. Yeah, Cause if you, you look at it any other way, then you're going to sink in every other fucking way. You got to stop looking at it in every other fucking way. These are the last six months that you'll ever be a part of the fucking system. Yeah. You feel me? Yes. <laughs> like I was saying, like it's prayer based, so it's all Christian. You got to, okay, we got to wear a collared shirt. You got to wear the. Uh, I don't slacks. give a fuck what you wear. It's, you put on what if you no. if they tell you to put a thong on, Eric, you put the fucking thong yeah, on. Okay, oh, there's that, and then every morning you pray. You, you pray. You go to church. Dude, on you Sunday. pray. And you tell who, you who do I pray for here? You go to meetings every day. You got like you a do schedule. Do what they got. You do what they tell you because yes. when you're out, you you act like you ain't gonna fucking be wherever the fuck you want to be. Yeah. You feel me? Yes. It's better than going to jail, bro. That's it's what the fuck choice. I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's a Way choice better. between that and You feel jail. me? You put on whatever front you they need you to put on. If they tell you, Eric, put this thong on, and you uh, uh-huh. and shake I was your ass right I here. I was playing around last time. Hit that man. shit. And they got, I got kicked out. I got kicked out. Don't get fucking kicked out. Don't do anything. Don't fucking say no stupid noises to females. Uh, uh, Don't uh, do none uh, of that uh, shit. No playing around. You got to just get in there and get the fuck out. Yeah. True. True. Yeah. God damn. 
Yeah. I don't want to talk about, well, I, I mean, I don't want to talk about this. I'm, I'm usually about, you know, having a good time. You feel me? But I, if I don't tell you this, then what type of homie am I? Yeah, that's, that's what right, type of homie know. am I? If I, just, if, if I'm just banking off a bunch of fucking views, yes. but I'm not sitting here and actually telling you, just like I was, me and Steven were telling it would be very easy to keep doing what we're yes. doing, just bank Everyone a bunch of fucking that. views. But why not actually sit there and tell you, yo, bro, you got to look at these last six months of you getting in trouble because after that, we got to get to work. Okay. Obviously, people fuck with what you say and what you got, what you have going on. Yes. You feel me? You got a story to tell. Yeah. Pretty yeah, yeah, mother- <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know he gives me that answer all the time, dude. Yeah. Whenever I try to give him any advice, he just goes, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. No, you gotta stop doing that to yourself. Well, Guess Marco I'm- has a lot of, of good advice from his young age. He, uh, it sucks when somebody has the. I mean, they can just get right in your life, and and it, they if they could just take over the reins of your life, they would kick ass in your life. But you know what I mean. But you were doing solid until that one situation happened. Yeah, Damn. that's true, bro. Damn, you were, I was. You feel me? You were just well, waiting I, on that money, bro. I'm not going to blame blame it on friends of mine, but no. I was slipping. You got to stop. Look, you got to stop yeah. blaming anyone. Yeah, you got to do your time, and you got to get the fuck out, and you got to know that you got to get some shit done. You feel me? I'm tr- I'm, uh, I'm going to get some shit done with or without you. Yes. You feel me? All right, I want to go. So that's what I'm, I'm telling you. Regardless, I'm going to do some shit with or without you, bro. Yes. So if you keep deciding well, to fuck up, it, yeah. eventually it's just going to come catch up to you where I'm going to be like, hey, bro, I literally can't have you, have you on yes. here no more because you're a liability. Yes. Right now you're not a liability, right. so you were good. All right. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Motherfuck. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Motherfuck. Right. Keep that in mind. Good, bro. God damn. It's a good yes. option. This is a very good option. Oh, yeah. Instead of whatever you think. Okay. Worst case scenario, you know? Yes. Best case scenario, we can make some shit happen. Exactly. All right. I'm down. All right. No, what's Woody. up, though? Fucking, uh, <laughs> what's cracking with you? How are you? Uh, what you been up to the past fucking few weeks? Staying at the motel, man. Watching TV and uh, just looking at my the new podcast. Watching TV. Uh, watching sports. Uh, what was it? Seager left. Seager left the Dodgers. Seager yeah. left. Um, what does I tell you? Fucking, we're at the fucking park smoking, and that guy came up to us talking oh, about. Oh yeah, that was so. That Laced was, that shit up. He's he. he, he it was funny because the guy was just like. What did he tell you? He was, was just random. He was just like, dude, I used to lace that shit up. Yeah. And then I was just like, yo, my homie still laces that shit yeah. up. <laughs> it was random. I mean, he is way downwind. So it must bring back, it must have brought back like bad memories for him. Nah, he seemed cool. Yeah. I think well, also he's seen some like equipment and shit and then we're actually doing some shit yeah. opposed to like us just being hooligans. So yeah. say shit. True. he told you just to get the fuck out of the way. Kind of like, yeah. Just yeah, go. that's right. That's what I told this dude. I was like, that park is in the middle of just like, of being like very nice, but has it's like people uh, like that. Uh, yeah. that don't give a fuck, but it's like, hey, bro, like I have kids, so you just yeah. go over there and do it over That's there. Right. I, don't mind. I don't give okay, a fuck. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Cordial about it, you know? Well, not yeah, yeah, very like cordial if, about it. Yeah, if, hell's if a yeah. homeless asks me for something, I like to like get, hey, dude, you got a lighter? Here, dude, here's a lighter, bro. <laughs> God bless you. Marie gets mad if I'm helping her. Let me see your cigarettes before this guy comes. And and do you do that because like do you see yourself a bit in them like as far as not not homeless but as no. far as like just if their I, characteristics and the way they are and the way that you would if you were in that position you would ask somebody for a lighter do you do that oh, because yeah, you, I would. for good karma? It sucks to have to ask people for something, dude. You know what I mean? But you know, yeah, what comes around goes around. I feel like well, Maria says, you know, who's going to be there for you when you don't have anything? You think someone's going to give you something? You know what I mean? Well, de- de- I, I, I like to give, if someone needs something, they ask you. You know what I mean? Then I will. Yeah, uh, Eric will give you the shirt off his back. <laughs> yeah, he could. Genuinely. Genuinely. So there's this guy like in the McDonald's drive through Where the, f- what, where? Uh, downtown, downtown <laughs> where the Riverside. did you get this? Downtown Riverside, but he, he, he is like angry about being homeless. He has like a dirty. Oh, okay, there you go. I was like, like where's a, the story going? There's like a dirty shirt on, you know, and he's telling me, give me a fucking Big Mac. You know what I mean? Give me a fucking quarter pounder. That's all right, dude. I'll get you something and shit. So I give him a, I give him a double cheeseburger and shit. Yeah. And he goes, I wanted a fucking quarter pounder. Oh, you could, I would have slapped the That's shit out of I him. Said, you better eat that shit. You are spun <laughs> out, dude. Look at your shirt, dude. Eat that double cheeseburger right now. He just had it like he was going to sell it. Yeah, nah, fuck that. Nah, yeah. like I, I... He came right out of the bushes and shit. And I said, Maria, <laughs> roll up your window. Shit, no. Damn, I seen a bro. dude today that was out in the street, like you said, blasted with tattoos. He is just like, he's going to fight another homeless guy. But that other homeless guy looked like, I will 
whip your ass Man. and shit. But he is stopping traffic. You know what I mean? And I'm saying, Maria, I can't even eat my food. Here he comes. Here he comes. And it's, like, Yo, you guys ever seen someone with Tourette's? Like, like, like pity bad yes. Tourette's? Uh, that when, shit's crazy. That shit's gnarly, huh? The first time I seen it, I, I was... You I ever seen anyone with Tourette's? No, I don't think so. Like, like a real person? Like bad yeah. Tourette's? I, oh. It was a, ch- a chick. She was like, I don't know, 14. I was I was working at CVS, so she came through the line with her with her mom. Yeah. And all of a sudden, she started... As soon as she seen me, she's... Fuck, 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 fuck. So I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Right? So I asked the mom. <laughs> I say, what I say what's, what's up? What's up with your daughter and shit, right? <laughs> what the fuck? You have you know no me? shame. Yeah, no shame at all. And then she goes, uh, she has Tourette's. You right? fucking idiot. And you moron. I, I, and I go, oh, that's where they cuss and cuss and cuss. And I said, that's oh, where they cuss? No, that's where you. Yeah. Okay, whatever. You're not so a I was fucking ta- cussing. So I was talking to her and, and I go, well, why, why when she sees me, it, did she always say fuck, just fuck, fuck, fuck? You or asked it, all these questions. To the lady, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the cashier. And, I mean, the, I don't give a fuck who CBS. you are. Don't fucking question me on my kid's fucking Dude, they're disorder. coming through the line and she's looking straight at me. Fuck, 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 fuck. I, that was the first time I ever seen it. Dude, you ever seen someone have like an epileptic seizure? Like you want to help gonna question them. I'm not going to help them, so but don't this, help them. Hobbit, does this happen often? <laughs> Hobbit. Hobbit. Does this happen often, motherfucker? No, so keep going. So yeah, then the mom told me she. I said, does does she say fuck to everyone, or is it just me? Is she like got the hots for me or something? She she said, uh, no, she doesn't say that to everybody. Usually guys like you, your age or whatever. Yeah. So that's it. So that was she, that was, she that was, really, that she was, was fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, no, I said I was at a uh, I was I was at the grocery store, bro. I was tripping out because like I get in there, I like I walk in there and you hear like ah. Uh, oh, yeah. But it was one of those screams You know how we would be like yeah. We would be at Just yelling and shit Just uh, like for no fucking reason You could be yeah. the most sane person yeah. But you start losing it a little bit Like yeah, after hours do. and shit like that yeah. So I'm just like Man that better not be One of those workers in the back Just like being loud Cause that's super yeah, unnecessary yeah. I was like bro What's wrong with you Like what are you doing so I keep hearing it and I'm like, and I, and I'm talking shit, bro. I'm like, like, I'm not talking shit verbally, but like in my mind, I'm just like, I got the, I'm just like, shut the yeah. fuck up. Like, who the fuck is saying that? Like, what the fuck? Like, what's, I, but I'm my whole time, like the entire time I'm thinking that's a fucking worker. You're just being annoying. Like, uh-huh. and it's like, bro, what are you doing? Like, what's the point? Like, like, are you seriously doing that for no reason? Like in my head, that's I'm just talking yeah. shit the entire time. Like, uh-huh. One after another, right? Every single time I would hear it. So that's when I like I got closer to it. At this point, it was like really apparent. So yeah. I was just like, whatever. I got closer to it, and then I got close. Then I was just like, I literally just like kind of like cross paths, and like I kind of like, I uh, like this lady gets like kind of like in in the in the way of me, but not really. And she's just like, oh, sorry about that. <gasps> I'm, like, I'm just like, oh, but I didn't even freak out or not. I didn't say no dumb shit like that. I was just like. Oh, it's okay. That's and I just you. like keep going because I was high as a motherfucker. <laughs> but she did that shit, and I was just like, "Oh, okay, like for sure." Now I know what the fuck is going on. I do that in my sleep, bro. Honestly, when I'm when I'm what the hell what when the- I come down when I stay up for six days and come down, oh. I'm in my sleep. Ah! That's the demons talking. That's the paralysis. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the neighbors had to hear that, dude. Imagine being the next thing. I, I, I'm having like a. It sounds like a Vietnam flashback when that when you're doing. Do people think you were like were at war? Yeah, sure. They're like, dude, did, did you get hooked on that shit in Vietnam? Something. And then you're just like, yeah, dude. Well, no, I, I've had to explain it away. <laughs> you're not even I, that got, old? <laughs> I, I had you to explain been it away. You would have been old as fuck to be in Vietnam yeah, already. I've had to explain it away to people and shit. It's like you know, people have questioned if you're in Vietnam. No, that I, was, I would have I would have been a very bad assumption. <laughs> you're not that old, <laughs> right? Um, no, that that uh, were you screaming? Oh, like your neighbors yeah, and shit. Yeah, you know. Or Maria comes in, stop that. And, or my friend, my friend's parents have said Eric's got a split and shit. Eric can't stay; he fell asleep and he's. Wow. No, yeah, no. If you, if you think about it, like think about it, like like my kid has a homie, right? And they're probably like in their mid, like fifteen, sixteen years old, right? And like, and you're out there screaming. You're not screaming in my house. Like you're, you're, uh, yeah, I'm kicking you out. Yes. Bro. Yeah. Well, that's like, that happens. Especially if I know something's not wrong with you, you're just tripping. Nope. Like, no, you're you're out of here. Yes. You're definitely kicking your ass off. So I don't even, I don't even feel bad for you. That no. Is. Someone came and picked me up. I was fine. <laughs> I was fine. I was good. <laughs> no, one time I did feel like a demon or something. It was a demon. I felt like I had sleep paralysis or something. I felt like I was stroking out, like the fourth kind. I don't know if you've seen that movie, but yeah. I felt like I was having a stroke and shit in my sleep. I fell asleep on my. It's always when I fell asleep on my back. 
you know, when you're staying up for a but few days. But that is, I think, is the way you get air, right? I think so. When you, like, gas, yeah, the yeah, way yeah, you get yeah, air, it yeah. kind of causes that. Right. Because they say cats sit on your chest and steal your air. That's a myth, you know, that they that they will when you're when you're sleeping on your back. I have no idea. They say that never you heard could that? purposely do that if you cross your arms, like, pretending like you're in a coffin or something. Uh-huh. You can go through sleep paralysis. Yeah. Well, what does that have to do with a cat? I don't know what the no, fuck no, is. No, no, that's just a myth. <laughs> what the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah, no, no, so stay, I, no, when, when I do sleep, like, like the boca abierta, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do get like, <gasps> yes, oh. me too. Yeah. It's scary, right? Yeah, hell yeah. That's like, you think you're going to die. Hell yeah. yeah. So you are dead, technically, when you're asleep. It's a form of. Who the fuck? Since when? Who? What scientific? I what? I don't know. Who said that? Where'd you hear that? From somebody. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you just ran with it? Yeah. So when you're right. sleeping, you're you know it's like you're you're dead kind of. You know what I mean? You're in no. there. No. What if you remained like that forever? Nope. That would suck. Yep. You ever have that one where you're just you're trying not to have a scary dream and it looks normal? You're like, all right, everything is cool and shit, and then it gets super scary, but you don't you know something scary is gonna happen. Like something's changing. Yes, <laughs> it's just right behind you. Go. Yes, those ones. <clears throat> or when you're falling. Oh, those are the worst. Because I hate heights. And you, oh, those are the worst. Those are the worst. Wake up. Fuck. Like, I, I never seen Tiger, uh, the Tiger King and shit. I've never seen that shit either. i never seen that Damn. one. No so there's another right. one where it's a 90 Day Fiance and shit where that ugly ass guy gets a fine ass chick. Flavor Flav? No, he has money. It's called 90 Day Fiance. And he's a fat, ugly old white guy. Never seen and, and he gets like a hot chick from overseas and shit. And uh, it's because he has money. And. 90 days and he's showering her with gifts and shit and she's still you know is that the fucking oh that's not the white guy with the asian girl right yeah is it yeah is it that one yeah that one they don't they don't end up together no yeah she leaves them she she leaves and that guy that guy just got engaged yeah yeah Yeah. that money dog he's rich yeah Yeah. everyone's like yo this is those memes or what Everyone's just like, yeah, that, like everyone's just like, bro, I can't believe this motherfucker got a girl before uh-huh. I did. Like, yeah. yeah, for real. Because huh? everyone was talking yeah. shit about him. Well, I mean, he was on there. He put himself out there and shit. So yeah. his, his personality's all right and shit. He was so naive. <laughs> he was so naive. He didn't realize that the chick was right there saying, nah, I don't really want to be with you. <laughs> He's not for me. Yeah. So I seen that. And it's some movie I'm thinking of. King Kong or uh, King Kong versus Godzilla or whatever the hell it was. Yeah. God. Those ones it almost looks like animated. I saw That's that one. The Wonder Woman ones are terrible. Like Wonder Woman 1971. I I like was saying, man, if I had to pay for this cable, it's some of the same movies that have been on forever. You know what I mean? Only one or two new movies comes out. I Fucking think- when you once you're uh, officially out, do you have a game plan of what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm going to immediately get a place. She, she's talking about going to, the thing is what to do with the card while I'm in there. Where do, where do already, I leave my bro. card? Where do like I leave my card? Take my card with me? Uh, yeah, my bank card and shit. Yeah, I'm almost sure it's fucking. Take yeah. it into Salvation Army with me? I'm almost sure someone could fucking store it for you. Yeah. Fuck, just get a fucking storage space like at the post office or some yeah. shit. Just leave it in there. Is this like a big Lock deal? Every, everyone's saying, you know, you're going to leave the card with me? So. I would just leave it in a lockbox at the fucking post office. Yeah, I I feel like that's a good idea, but I'm going in there tomorrow. So you, have app? you don't have shit. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. You don't have shit. You I have the YouTube app, bitch, and you all you do is watch the fucking pod, get download the app, the okay. fucking whatever app. But no, go to the My bank and just get it locked. Okay. Yeah, you do you oh, have do you have locked. your driver's license? My driver's license, my my uh, birth certificate, and my social security card got stolen out the trunk. Not my, not my ID. Okay. So I got my driver's license. I got my money, half of it left. But it's changed. I would. I would. Everybody. Used to be- everybody. Like it's been so hard to do anything. It's like the world knows I have money and shit. It gets like just living costs money, bro. I didn't hundred dollars <laughs> a day to live there at that motel and. I try not to spend money, but man, dollars are just, I'm just spending it, not working. So I want to get this over with, get a little job, um, get a place. You know, I was thinking about an RV, but dude, I'm down to like, 
You know what I mean? A dude was saying, hey, there's somebody on the roof and shit. Leave there's him. somebody on the roof. Right there's on. somebody coming inside right my room Tom and to shit. Jump. Tom to jump. So much crazy shit. Next time shit. you see someone on yeah. your roof, Tom, yeah. hey, bro, jump. Jump. Do a flip. No, You're not worth it. Yeah. You're not worth it, dude. Kill your... Dale, dale. Uh, Go for it. There's some, Go for it. Some good drugs over there or something, dude. Let them, hit, let them take all of them. So I've seen some wild shit living at that motel, bro. Let it get wilder. Wild shit. Uh, Ooh, let it get wilder. All right. Tell me. I'm out of there. I'm out of there. I'm going to, into Salvation Army. God bless. We just got a lot of sisters, I think. Fifteen. What the fuck? Damn, dude. All together. That generation, huh? Fifteen? Just babies. Yeah, babies, her, babies, mo- her mom's. Fifteen fucking kids? Yeah, her mom's young, too. Her mom's only like 20 years older than her. Yeah, less than 20 years older than her. What the fuck? And her mom's got 15 kids. Uh, with, with, her, yeah. with the same dude? Yeah. He's, he passed away. What he had a stroke. F- he had a stroke. The two, two, two of the brothers live there with the mom, you know, and help her. How, out. how old is the youngest one? Ah, uh, shit, that's a good question. Um, thirty. And how old is the oldest one? Fuck, uh, Maria's up there. <laughs> Maria's up there. Sixty. What the fuck? Fifteen. Uh, how do you have fifteen fucking kids? She she started young. She has. Maria's got what ten. Ten sisters and three brothers. Bro, that's got to be one of those world records. Fifteen <laughs> fucking kids, back to back, huh? Yeah. Gotta Bro, be. like, how do? What does that do to like a female? Do you know like the mom? Yeah. Like, well, you she, you know, shit? yeah. We go over there and, uh, well, the brother, like, I can't go over there and stay. I, we already asked her, can Eric stay over here with with, uh, you know, Maria didn't want to go over there and stay, but she's gonna go over there. And... I know that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm trembling, huh? What happened? Oh, yeah, but it was weird. Like, I've never seen someone act that way. Like, hey, like, uh, you guys, what's up? You guys have a problem? Like, oh, they are like, nah, bro. Like, we think we know you, your family. And it's like, oh, oh it's my bad. He apologized and everything. And I was just like, damn. You had to apologize because we were family. We knew, knew him. Uh, yeah. So it's just, I don't know. This is a movie, you fucking asshole. Nah, bro, that's me. That's my <laughs> life. <laughs> Straight out of a movie. It just seems strange. Like, I don't know, the way he acted. Marco's been thinking of. Shit to say in this. Look, he was dying without that cigarette. Uh, I feel way better. I, I've been smoking a lot of cigarettes too. I looked at my bank statement yeah. when I called. It's liquor store, liquor store, liquor store, liquor store. Why the store, fuck cigarette. don't you just buy a big ass pack? Yeah, you should. Be way better. I'm going to Salvation Army, bro. <laughs> so, but you can't smoke cigarettes. Little Wayne or what? got in trouble for having a gold fucking gun since he's not allowed to have guns. Yeah. So it was just a replica gun like that. And he was gonna go away for fucking life. What was the gnarliest? Yeah. What was the gnarliest car that uh, that bloody wise? Brains. Brains. Yeah, brains. Yeah, brains. When was that? You do a uh, or one was shot inspection? up too. It was shot all. Was up. that the one? Where it was like it was all yeah. cut, yeah. like all destroyed. Well, there's a few where there's it's brain few. matter. You, yeah, you. I had seen the one with brain. Yeah, yeah. brain uh, matter. Like that one was it looks right. like it uh, it ran someone over, bro. Eggs or something. Yeah, kinda. I that, that smell, bro, huh? Yeah, of dead, ah, of yeah, dead, dude. dead people. I've seen it's, quite a few times. Though. That, that was crazy, though. They're cleaning that shit. I was like, bro, oh, don't yeah. clean none of that. Leave it alone. Oh, That's yeah, when we first had to tell him. Yeah, it was nasty. when he was new new. Yeah, he was like, you would be like. I would bio all. Uh, remember what I wouldn't. Like, I would be like, hey, yo, there's a speck of blood right here. Bio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a speck of blood. I would, think, I would think something's going to be in here. Now. Remember, that, remember this one, the fake blood? He'd be like, oh, yeah. hey, put the fake blood right there. Put the fake blood. I did have fake blood. blood. Bio. Hey, but that fake blood, did, you could tell it wasn't real. It would go away. <laughs> it was super fucking fake. Yeah. But this would be like, put the fake blood. <laughs> On the, the airbag. Um, yes, I remember. Th- I remember the range, the Range Rover that, uh, that got it was up. all yeah. shot up, and yeah, then we seen one. it. I remember that. We seen it on the news. news? And shit. Yeah, uh, we were watching it. Dang. Fuck that it. guy was running into the church and shit with that thing. That's fucking. He was crazy. backing up, trying to yeah. run people yeah. over and uh, shit, bang, bang, bang. and pass it or like in down here. Yeah, they shit. were yeah. shooting. Yeah, they shot his car down. up. I wanted to go in there and look. It was so much blood. Like when you open oh, that yeah, door, it was, it was full of blood. It was full, full of blood. It was full, full of holes, blood. That was one of the worst ones I've ever seen. That one was Me really too. bad. Then the brains one was really bad. Yes. Then I remember seeing like a Hyundai fucking, like a Hyundai element. And this shit was like, a, it, it looked like it was like a fucking, it was all pressed like this. I'm like, how does a car even yeah. get like that? I have uh, no idea. Before you guys got there, there was a couple really bad ones where someone had tied someone up like in oh. a van. It, the one where a guy commits suicide and the blood was like coagulated thick. Oh. They cut, it looked like they covered it up too. It was over his wife, and there was two bullet holes in the in the headliner, and they had cut like a square out of the 
of the headliner where the bullet holes were. They wanted me to go in there and take pictures. It used to have the crime people would come out. Yeah. The crime investigators and with the hazmat suits and the CSI, the criminal minds looking investigators yeah. come. But it, it looked like molasses, bro. Like it was black. It was that thick, the blood. Oh. Where it just quite, where his head, when he blew his head off and then he, he, he slouched over and the blood had just like, you know how molasses. Made a pe- puddle. Yeah. yeah it uh, uh, coagulated up yeah. into, it was so weird looking. I was saying, that's not blood. And I'm looking at the whole scene, like, looking up. I was trying to hold my breath because that death smell is, it it can go from, like, two cars down. You can be in the car over and smell that death smell. No fucking way. There was that one, and then there was, like, a Mercedes with blood like that in the trunk. But it was still wet blood. It was like that. Someone had, like, it looked like, you know, a, a gang car or something. There was, it was wet blood in the trunk, and they still sold that. It was a nice... Mercedes, the big ones, the big boxy looking ones. Damn. Yeah. That's not really hey, there's fun. a lot of foods that flip cars from there. A lot. Yeah, of hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. See, that's how they, the only way they can make their money. Flipping cars from there, just fixing the little things that they're wrong with them. Flip it. Uh huh. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, when people would come back to get their belongings? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's always. Well, they tell them, uh, you know, we can't be responsible for your, all your items. Yeah, I remember but that. I've seen some sad faces. Like, like I'm coming. I'm just fun? back here to get my bud. Uh, gone. Smoked it. It's gone. <laughs> it's already smoked. It's gone. Well, right. I've seen it where they get there on time, though. They like do, where uh, where they're they're smart. Them. They they must have had it happen to them before because I'm thinking, damn, they they got their weed and shit. There was a car we didn't get to yet. I was like, damn, this person's up on things. Yeah, didn't but I've seen it where they, they're one one person behind me. I just got their shit, whatever it was in there. They're like, I can't find my knife. And I'm thinking, you can't find your weed it's in your pipe. I have it. <laughs> where do you see do you see yourself singing, singing or swimming within the next few months? Oh, definitely swimming. swimming? I'm a survivor, bro. Like you said. I'm a survivor, like you, bro. Said, you said that I'm, you know, that I'm probably going to survive out of anybody. Well, I felt I didn't want to take that shot neither. Take what I, shot? The COVID shot. If I didn't have to take it, I wouldn't. Yeah. Why not? If if it's not broken, why fix it? Broke what? Am I am I you know, if you're not sick at all, you know what I'm saying? Am I I'm not, you know, you can wear a mask. You know what I'm saying? It's my choice. Yeah, but you should get vaccinated. Have I, you got a vaccine? Yeah. yeah, I didn't want to, but I Why did. not? Because I'm dirty, I guess. I just yeah. don't. D- bro, you remember how you used to yeah. eat dirty as hands? I don't like shots. and I mean, I don't like the flu shots. My thing's like you've. I got shots when I was a kid. Bro, you've done everything in the book and you won't take a vaccine? I felt like, what if this kills me? <laughs> you know? This out of everything <laughs> you've ever tried. <laughs> this was going to kill you. Yeah. You've heard of this shit. Uh, having adverse effects. I'm old. I mean, what I was thinking that what if co- what if I got COVID? I already have like, you know, COPD and shit. So I don't um, want to go out like that. COVID after everything I've been through. How do you so, think? How do you think you could avoid this situation again? Let's say the same shit repeats itself. The same, the same fucked oh, up no, shit. I'm, I'm, you're you're with no, Maria do, chilling. Oh yeah, yeah. And then some dudes are fighting right there. Oh, they want you to partake. Uh-uh. They're saying, Eric, come fuck this shit Hell up. No, I don't come care if fuck I look this like shit a up. Pussy. I'm gonna say nope. I'm scared. I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> are your, what are your expectations uh going into fucking salvation army and like of be it good. being be, no be, what are those are your expectations for you oh yourself? no no learn something i think i need i need uh some fucking therapy i need counseling <laughs> uh, there's counseling <laughs> in therapy there. yes there's counseling and then uh you know there's the christian aspect of the whole thing i do believe in god and that he's there in the god that's right that's right so uh that's right i have a strong uh christian belief Jesus Christ. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior. <laughs> yes. Motherfucker, dude. Um, strong audience. I don't know how we're pulling in so many views. <laughs> yeah, sure. you're on this bitch, it cannot bro. be me, just me. I'll tell you that much. Someone's watching now. No, someone's legit watching. Yeah. But again, when people watch the podcast, they always ask about you. The first person everyone, anyone huh? asks about is for you. Right, right. What They're happened? like, oh, I've seen, the, I've seen the homies podcast with your homie, with your white homie. Uh-huh. You know, like that was hilarious. Like, <laughs> like everyone finds just one aspect of what you're saying and what you're about to do, or what, like 
Yeah, some, something about your character that he's finding funny. That's like good. Every like single that. person that has it's asked a du- about the podcast have asked about your specific yes. episodes. That's all right. It's a du- it's a double edged sword though because yeah, on that end people like me, but on the other end there's some people right off the bat they fucking can't stand my ass. I just something about they me. Can't stand something that. about me irritates them and rubs them the wrong way right off the bat. And yeah. I just I'm I, I, I'm used to it. I, I feel like I'm white. A lot of times I feel like it's. You're white, and they have something immediately against you. I doubt. I doubt it's not. That's not it. I think it's probably you're loud and obnoxious <laughs> before anyone doubt. Uh, True. Uh, so. Yeah, I, I think it's yeah before they start ra- being okay. uh, racist yes. uh, on you. I think that first. Hey, was that joke that you always say? They don't say? like white people. What was that one joke you always say about what Ellen DeGeneres? And it, yeah. I oh, think I so. t- I, you want to hear a joke about uh, a koala smoking a joint in a tree? A koala smoking a joint in a tree, and a little lizard comes. And says, hey, Qual, are you smoking some weed up in that tree? Smells pretty good. Can I have some? The Qual says, yeah, come up here. I'll smoke you out and shit. So the little lizard goes up there and he smokes him out. And the little lizard goes, damn, Qual, that is some good weed. I'm high. I got cotton mouth. I'm going to go down to the river and take a drink. I'll be right back. Qual says, all right, I'll be right here. So he goes down to the river and he takes a drink and a, and a crocodile pops up and says, damn, little lizard, you're thirsty and shit. He's like, yeah, it's Qual up in the tree smoked me out and I'm fucking stoned and shit. So the crocodile goes down. I want to get high too. I wonder if he'll smoke me out. Lewis said, go over there and ask him. He'll probably smoke you out. So the crocodile jumps out of the stream and goes up to the koala. You know what the koala says to the crocodile? How much fucking water did you fucking drink, little lizard? Get it? So the little lizard turned into like a crocodile to the koala. That's some good weed. That was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. Yes. <coughs> the Alan DeGeneres joke. In jail. Well, the, you know, how'd you guys Adrian, even come Adrian up with the, always said, how'd you guys come up with the fucking simple like concept that she was dead, like she's not dead? Well, they this is a big thing. Like, hey, did you hear Adam Sandler just died? And you're like, well, bullshit. Are you serious? And, it, and you sometimes fall for it. And they're like, nah, he didn't fucking die, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your phone. Oh my god, he's dead. What was that one where they Sandler, had? Sandler, you think he's dead? <laughs> Motherfuckers are dead. Huh? You're walking around like that. Yeah, <laughs> yes. He's fucking dead. That's how you go outside here. You're like, he's not fucking dead, yo. Yes. <laughs> yes. You don't have... Well, you do... You you have a newspaper in there. You can see it. So. But Some yeah, people they are get, just checking each other. They get you on there. It's They're like, fun. yo, Denzel? We, we, dead. We, we, yeah, right? <laughs> he's fucking yes. dead, dude. And you're in there like... <laughs> yeah. Denzel Washington is dead Dude, again. Ellen DeGeneres, that's a good that one gets Is that the one that spread in jail? Yeah. Why was that spread in I wouldn't like, like I would have thought dude, I, would've, I, would've, would I, would've, I wonder, what, I wonder, wonder what the fuck the statistics are of like people, males in jail <laughs> no even a fuck about older. Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. It's it's hit and miss. Some people have no idea who the fuck she is. And they look at you like what is she? But other people, yes. What's the other one they said? And no, no, how did that they said though? Faison I, Love was dead, right? Faison Love? Remember? I don't that was know. on the internet. They were saying, uh, Faison Love died and shit. The one, uh, uh, Big Warm from Friday. And he wasn't dead. I was just made up shit. Remember where he has to come on and say, I'm not dead. I'm fucking right here. I'm about to do a comedy show. Um, how did the end of the gender spread in jail? Though? I don't know. You just heard it out of nowhere? Yeah. People so, have jokes in there, no, bro. How, well, how did that come up? Like, how did someone come up to you? Like, what was the first thing? Hey, you Alan, did you hear, dude? Alan Jenner's just died and shit. What, dude? Are you kidding? <laughs> You're like, yeah. what the fuck? Yes. They found her face down in Ricky Lake. <laughs> that's what they told you? Yes. And that's when I start thinking, oh, motherfucker, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> they found uh, her face down in Ricky Lake. Where's uh, Ricky Lake? Ricky Lake is a chick that used to have a show, like in my era. She's a lesbian chick. They she found was her on, face down in Ricky Lake. And Ricky Lake, Lake is, so is a chick. Ellen DeGeneres is gay. She's a lesbian. <laughs> so they found her face down in Ricky Lake. Ellen DeGeneres just died. Like they said so Ricky Lake. Yeah, Ricky Lake. You know who that is, right? No. She's a chick that used to have a talk show. I thought you meant like a lake named Ricky. I know. So it gets you both ways. So you're like, <laughs> yeah. fucking Ellen DeGeneres? No <laughs> way. We're what? losing the good ones. <laughs> like, where's Ricky Lake? Uh, <laughs> Where the fuck is yeah, Ricky Lake? So, so you had people knowing who Ricky Lake yes. was, and there's people... Thinking, where the fuck yes. is Ricky Lake? I was thinking, where the fuck is Ricky I Lake? Know. So there's a person named Ricky Lake. Yes. So they found Ellen DeGeneres dead, face, d- face, face down, down on Ricky Lake. Lake. Ricky Lake's actually a, a female. Chick. So a that's, that's, it's a sex joke. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, Clever <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. They it's got pretty, time, bro. Clever motherfucker. <laughs> 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 pretty good joke. Hey, that one, that one gets motherfuckers, dude. They're like, oh. 
He finally deciphered that. He's been saying that shit since you've been out. You've been saying that. Yo, Ellen DeGeneres just <laughs> yeah. died. Uh, they found her face uh, down in Ricky Lake. Yeah. And I was like, fool, what the fuck are you talking uh, about? Everybody on Instagram would be talking if Ellen DeGeneres yeah. just died. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad it's spread. And I was over here thinking, where the fuck is Ricky Lake? <laughs> <laughs> like is there a break? So uh, Licky, see, it, uh, got, fucking, it got you too. Uh, fucking leg named Ricky. Yeah, Where it got you. What? In yeah, it was uh in jail. It was a black guy. It was just as funny and funnier than me. There's people who freestyle rap. But what are what are like jokes wise? Oh, like, dude, what? they had some good jokes. Like they were just clowning Cracking on each other, jokes and shit all day, the entire time, just the making entire each other laugh. time, bagging on each other, making jokes and shit. Yeah, about tweaking and. Everything. Rappers. A little tweaky ra- white guy was one of the fucking hardest rappers. For real? Yeah. <laughs> little L- tweaky little white guy? Yeah. He would just start spitting like Eminem or what? spit like Eminem, yeah. For real? Fast, Eminem, fast. He fucking, I could smoke some people freestyling, you know, where some people have beats. No, you can't. No, I'm saying there's some, there's some guys that think they're rappers and they have the beat where they're making their beat and shit and they're yeah. rapping and, and their rap is, he's okay. Mine's, Mine's not the greatest neither, but like I'm not. You put your shit up. I'm not the worst. Okay, okay. I'm not the worst. Okay. I'm not the best. But there's some people that had funny jokes. Some jokes I got in there were pretty funny. Some are sick. Some are pretty sick jokes too. Like disgusting shit. Yes. Where you're like, damn, this guy's vibe. Yes. The other ones, you know, about all the sex positions and stuff. What was it? The dirt, the rusty trombone. What's the rusty trombone when, when she has her face. Deep in your ass, and she's jacking you off at the same time. That's called the rusty trombone. There's different ones. You know, the dirty Sanchez is where they put the finger in the butt, and then they put the mustache. You, you got to know that one. No, bro. You don't know none of those? I There's a lot of them. Ones. There's no, a lot. Style. There's a lot. 69. Of There's, uh, a lot of yeah. There's a lot of different. Uh, shlunky. Oh, a shlunky is where she's got the unit in her hand, and she's got all the saliva. What the fuck's the unit? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's got the family jewels, and she's got the unit. <laughs> the family hand. jewels. What yeah. are you talking about? She's got the ball. She's cupping the balls. She's got the. She's got it in her hand. She's got the saliva, and she's looking up, and she's saying, "Daddy, you like that? And you're gonna come." That's a shlunky. That's now, a shlunky. Now, if you would have had a shlunky, you would have. You would have. You'd have been in a better mood. The other one is a blumpkin, right? Is where the. She's giving you head and you're Have you heard about shit. the roll up? Yeah, there's a lot of them, right? The now. roll up, no. the roll up is when you and your girl both take a shit on the floor. Yeah. And you guys have sex while rolling around in it. Wow. <laughs> See? There's... Have you ever done that with Maria? No. No? No. You would consider it? I mean, if we had like one of those slip and slide mats to put down. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're nasty. Do like man. oil, the oil wrestling. Just take some nasty shits. It would be like mud a... wrestling, but with doo doo. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I don't... Nasty motherfucker. Dude. You'd have to have like the things for your nose, because um, as soon as it's over with, when you smell it, your own poop. Yeah, no fuck. Well, I'm better with my own. It would have to be my own poop. Too. It was a nasty as a, <laughs> was a nasty as fucking. Uh, what what other crazy shit? What do you mean? Crazy shit like position wise or a slunky oh, or a blumpy or uh, the, uh, the upper decker is where the you upper decker. The upper decker is where you go and you take a shit in the back part of the toilet. Yeah. And so when you go to change the filter and shit. Someone took a shit. <laughs> Someone took a shit in there. That's a, the upper ah. decker. Just imagine you That's open it up right. and there's a big piece yeah. of metal right yeah. there. Yeah, there's that. One. Like who would do this to me? <laughs> That's somebody Yo, pissed off. Up. <laughs> if I open it and there's a nice corny turn right yeah. there, I'm immediately. You don't have to. You have, you have to put the chain on. You know, sometimes. Right, there's, <laughs> a shit. there's a fucking shit in there. I'm not touching nothing. I'm putting it down. Um, yes. the other day. That's right. But when you think, who the fuck did that to me? That's ballsy. That's ballsy. You would definitely think it was me, right? If you yep. knew me, you'd say, oh, that's got to be Walker. Someone goes in your fucking house. <laughs> think about this. Someone lays down an someone, upper decker. Someone goes to your fucking house. Uh, like, it's a clean bathroom. Uh, someone goes to your fucking house. Uh, and it still looks he clean. Stands on, he stands <laughs> yeah. on your fucking... You he stands to. on the fucking... You have fool, to take he, that off with no so noise. He, 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 <laughs> you take the thing off and you yes. leave it on the counter. Yes. And you stand on the and fucking shit. toilet. <laughs> and you take a fucking shit. Big one. On the top. <laughs> yes. Upper decker. Upper decker. That's Dang. wrong. Yay. So they spend a lot of time making up jokes. These nuts is another one. There's a lot of these nuts jokes. A lot of different ones that you can use. 
You know what I hit one of the homies with today? What? He was he was hitting me up with some like irrelevant ass shit, and he was just like, "Yo, like also named by some fucking logo," and I was just like, "Bro, like, what do you like? What do you what do you what do you want them to do to like play with your balls or what?" Like, <laughs> I was dying so fucking much because it was like in the it was like AM style, like it was like fucking six in the morning, and this who hits me up about that dumb shit, and I was like, "Bro, what do you want them to do? Like, play with your balls or what? Like, you over here want your balls played with?" And I was like, "I thought that shit was hilarious." Like, I don't know. Yes. Because I'm like, bro, what the fuck when people like just want too much shit? Like, yes. bro, what are you asking for? Hey, hey, for that was someone to play with your balls? Yes. Like, at this point, you just want someone Coddle to play me. with your balls. Coddle me. You know? I seen one on TV where the guy wanted to be a little baby. He wanted, and he had a lot of money and shit. He hired a nanny yeah. to come over and burp Take him and ass. put a diaper on him. A grown man. And, and he's in a playpen. He's got all the baby shit on. And he takes a shit on the top yeah. of the fucking toilet. Whatever he wants. He's paying for a nanny to clean it just up. Just imagine if the nanny, just imagine you do that on the nanny. You're like, hey, I took a shit. You're like, hey, I took <laughs> a shit in the restroom. Her face, yes. She's just like, what? what but you, you can't. You're Google. And, and and you're, you're, like, you're, and you're like, hey, I took a shit in the restroom. And she was just like, and you're like, I didn't flush it though. And she was like, okay. And then she goes, she's like, hey, no, there's nothing okay. there. I like, know it's in the, the top. <laughs> No, for Decker. You got to shave. You got to wear a collared shirt. You got to have a suit for Sunday. You got to go to church. Um, you pray every day. It was a guy from the Patriots. I told you was the was you the, met Tom Brady there? No, it was uh, his name's Leonard. His name was Leonard. He was on the Pel, uh, Bill Parcells era of the Patriots. Oh shit! He, he runs Salvation Army. Fuck. So I was talking. You to should him. have told him, like, "Hey, dude, do you oh, know Tom Brady?" I've, He's no, like, "No." He, Bill, Bill Parcells. He He's wasn't on the Tom. Brady. Everybody asked him that. And he, you could tell, he does not like that question. <laughs> do you know Tom Brady? You know, he says, "I was with Bill Parcells." <laughs> They're like, "So how's Bill Belichick?" Like, he's like, "No, I don't know yeah. Bill Belichick. I know Bill Parcells." <laughs> Definitely, those are wrong. I said the same thing, and I could tell that was the wrong questions to ask. I would be like, "Man, this guy knows Tom Brady." He was in the '90s. It was the '90s era. Right? Yeah, because Bill, Bill Belichick used to coach with the Browns. Yeah. He was a defensive coordinator. That's right. That's right. And then he went to the Patriots for I know a little as bit. a head coach. A little bit of sport. Like in the late 90s? Mm-hmm. Rams look really good. Fuck no. We just lost like three fucking straight. We look like oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, no, we look like dogs. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is he, like... he was over there getting mad, huh, the coach? Yeah, no, he we look mad. like dog shit. If they just want to. Well, keep fucking up. There's nothing I can do. Nah, well, course. everybody wanted to hear. I, I saw a lot of. Uh, okay. I want to hear Marco. I, like, I, I like, want to hear Marco. I feel like a lot of interaction that we always have. It was good. This one was good. We got it, it was good. You Thank fucking. You, you, you have any questions for this idiot? Uh, I like. He's your, got it, bro. I like your it. hair. Who cut your hair this last time, Jonathan? Jonathan. It was the last haircut. You guys are the same. The same haircut. So got to come out. Uh, got to give this motherfucker some gas money. Yeah, he's broke. I, I have money. He was telling me paint his car. That I have that kind of money paint paint my car. Bro, for. he's helping out. I thought everybody. that was his car. Who? I have given no. away. I give my fucking mom, idiot. I was just like, what a dumbass. I've given my mom yeah, a few grand. I've give I gave a friend five hundred. I gave my PlayStation to my other friend. I was giving shit away like this money is never gonna end, but it did it. What are you gonna do for Christmas? Chill. Probably go with my suegros. What you fucking do for uh Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Uh, with a family, my cousin. Chilla. Yeah. Chilla. What the fuck you do? I'm gonna be in Salvation Army. I'm, hopefully, I'll get a pass. And... For Thanksgiving, you're in Salvation Army already. No. Um, what did I do for Thanksgiving? Yeah. I had carnitas. I thought you meant Christmas. What oh. am I gonna do? I had carnitas and uh, I gave my cats that live in the motel a whole turkey carcass that someone had left down there, and they didn't eat most of it. And those cats were happy. I was saying, see, I gave you guys something for Thanksgiving. They were there all night eating a turkey carcass. They were happy. Cats. Homeless cats. We gotta, when you get out, we got to drill this fool with questions. True. Some good-ass questions, huh? You know what? You're Is just, it over with now? No, nah, we're about to finish up. I'm just kind of just waiting for us to fucking oh. close out. Uh, any shout-outs? Props have? to Steven. <laughs> Yeah, the drone, yeah. what up with the drone? That drone, props to that drone. Uh, you guys, that was so sick. Shots. Uh, I'm trying to get shots. some fucking for the intro. You know, we always try to do some pretty cool shit. Props to your little thing stayed during the whole thing. I like your sign Hell ever yeah. since the beginning. That sign's been there. Shout out to the I, family. That's for sure. There you go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you guys. Um, fucking appreciate you guys coming out. Mm. You gotta give this motherfucker some gas money. I'm gonna yeah. How, how's married life treating you? It's good. I love it's it. It's good. Yeah. Chilling. He's a lucky guy. I'm lucky. 
She is. She's a very smart woman. What the fuck are you gonna do? Plants. You really is gonna start trying to grow shit like, on yeah, the, like to make money? Yeah, yeah has been talking about. from the house, bro. He's talking about growing fish. Oh yeah, aquaponics. I don't know if you ever heard like that. water shit. Uh, like water, f- water like yeah. plants or doing water like uh, fish. There's plants in water, but there's there's fish that the water filters through. Yeah. Yeah. So it I'll give you a little egg. bit of a fertilizer to it. Okay. Pretty sick. Okay. Shit. Started building a PC. That was pretty oh, cool. Hell yeah, yeah, I started getting into like trying to get, get myself to, like get into a PC. So uh, that was pretty. Like I, I have all my started getting all stacking up all my parts. Fuck yeah. So we're gonna do like a PC of PC because I need a whole editing fucking side, and that's why I cleared up all the space right wow. there. Wow. Because that's gonna be my whole editor section section. Itt tech. No, just regular ass motherfucking PC build. But one last one. For the my work homies. Oh hell yeah! yeah. They they're great. They're a good time. Great team. Good time. Yep. I I don't even feel like I gotta have a good time. Uh, a great team. I just feel like I have good. I have I have to have a good time at work. Uh-huh. I feel like with you guys, like that fucking job sucked, but it was always just a good time. That's just, true. Exactly, bro. My we job always, was terrible. You guys would always say, "Are you gonna come to break and shit?" And I would say, "I only have I seventeen can't. cars. Can't do it. Help yeah. me out. <laughs> just do one." Yeah. Always, bro. That my was- shout out would be to two dudes that live in that. Motel, David and Jerry, they're comedy. They, they, well, they don't, I mean, they're staying in there temporarily. They're going to get out of there too. But they're cool. There's cool people that actually live in there. Them too. They're nice guys. Vamonos. Hell yeah. Uh, want to shout out. We have 223 motherfucking subscribers now. I think that's fucking dope. Uh, we're wrapping this year up. I want to knock out a couple more pods for just to round up this year. And then we're going to start probably in the, I want. I'd like to drop one on January first, but just depending how fast I get done with that editing computer, because I want to take everything to the next level as far as editing and just how much uh, like we had like a we had like a lock on how much we could actually do. And after this, we're gonna be able to like unlock a different beat. We're gonna be able to make them look that much better. So I want to see how that's gonna turn out. Um, so yeah, shout out 223 motherfucking subscribers. This motherfucker. Yeah. Every every fucking video that Walker's on. For some reason, blows up to over a thousand videos, but I know the, I mean a thousand views. I know the reason you're a motherfucking class act, motherfucker. Thank you. Thank you for coming on to the motherfucking motherfucking pod. When you get out, we need to. I want to have a. What I'm gonna impress you on when you get out, when you do your first thirty days, right. when you're able to get out just for eight hours in thirty days time, I want to impress you in the sense that I'm gonna have a bunch of shit layered out to be like, yo, we got this, 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 and to this. Do. To Sounds do. good. Right. Yes. Right. Accomplishments. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So appreciate it. Yeah. Two hundred twenty-three motherfucking subscribers. It is a what day is it today? Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, because so, tomorrow you tomorrow you take off to Salvation Army. That's right. Eric's going underneath for thirty days right yes. now. Yes. Man yeah. versus wild. <laughs> thirty days in. Well, they have a lot of those. Finish <laughs> him. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Oh, that's how people are living. I like Mortal Kombat. Finish him. Um. So yeah, going underneath for thirty days. That's right, dog. Just get the fuck out, and we yes. got shit to do. We're gonna have. I'm gonna press you. I got. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to have a, a lot of things visually better, perfected, uh-huh. all types of shit. When um, I do get out, I can't. I can't be blazing. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, you shouldn't no be blazing. blazing. Yeah, yeah. No blazing. Uh, all I'm saying, I won't blaze ever again. When I, once I get out, is that shirt Abbey Road or what is that? Are you you into like motorcycles? The what the fuck are you wearing? Because I, I, I'm white and I'm a biker. I don't know. No, I never <laughs> I'm rode a biker. A, I rode a motorcycle. <laughs> I rode a motorcycle when I was a kid. Shout out, shout out, Bridge City Collection. Yeah, that's uh, nice. Fuck it, I they, like that. they I, I, they hooked me up with this. Okay. Hit, your woo, hit your woo! Hit your woo! Yeah, that's a nice looking shirt. I wish Dope I had a motherfucking shirt. I'm gonna have him on the podcast. I'm actually gonna do a whole little snippet on on just his come up and how he actually got to this point and what he's actually done. And, the store is amazing. Go check it out. It's off of Foothill. Uh, Foothill, Riverside. The store is fucking immaculate. It's beautiful inside and out. Uh, also, they have a smash burger uh, across, across, like, just across right there. It's super fucking the smash burgers are bomb, homie. Amazing. But, yeah, Bridge City Collection. Go check them out. I think it's fucking fly. Rialto. And fucking uh, subscribe. Keep subscribing. Liking, commenting, all all that you feel me. Even if it's just to talk shit about Eric, I don't mind. <laughs> um, I yeah. do. I got. To, I got a few. Haters. You don't love your mom. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that. Thank you guys. On the live podcast episode 18. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yes. Bye everyone. Love you. Bye bye.